Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And more and more people are going boondocking. More and more people need more battery reserve time. Um, but fewer and fewer of us know how to do that. Um, that's why I kind of want to put this together because one of the things that a lot of people are going to want to know is how do I add more batteries to my camper? Um, I'm not going to get into a lot of technical information. I'm not going to get into milliamps and this and that and everything. I'm, I'm not going to try to confuse people that way. My goal is to just show you how to physically wire batteries together so that you're getting the correct output to your trailer to provide proper power to your RV systems. Now, first of all, I don't want to sound like I'm talking down to anybody, but my experience has been that the level of electrical engineering that most of us are familiar with um, it is roughly the equivalent of knowing which way to put the batteries in the TV remote and thankfully they put a picture inside of that little remote control so that I can help remember next time. That's, that's normal. I still have to look at the picture in the remote, but I also have somewhat of a background in electrical engineering. Not massive, I'm not a genius at this stuff. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. Anyway, um, what I'm getting at here is Pardon me for starting really simplistically, but there are a couple basics to understand. First of all, there are most commonly 12 volt and six volt batteries that will be in question when it comes to the idea of adding extra batteries to an RV. So most things like this is a 12 volt battery right here. And visibly it's hard to know if you're looking at one versus the other. If you're not sure, ask a professional. That's always the best solution because getting this wrong is a bad thing to get wrong and an expensive thing to get wrong. So your RV has 12 volt systems. That's what runs the lights, the fans, a lot of things in that camper are 12 volt powered. Um, well, normally a single 12 volt battery will get that job done just fine. Now, for the sake of ease and simplicity, I'm going to use some color coding here. And to help you remember it, I kind of have the little mnemonic, red is hot, black is not. Now, RV color coding is not always really consistent. Sometimes white is hot, sometimes white is negative. It depends, but for this demonstration right here, red is positive, black is negative. So first of all, starting with the ultra basics, how do we wire up a single 12 volt battery? Now this part is going to be laughably simplistic. I don't believe anyone will have too much of a challenge understanding this right here, especially with the color coding that I have going on. So you take the hot line or positive line from the trailer and it goes to the positive line or the positive post on the battery. It's got a little plus on it to give you a little cheat sheet. <laughs> Even a guy like me can understand that. And then obviously the other side is just by default your negative line. So you're gonna hook your trailer to negative line. Now you have a smooth continuous circuit of electricity through the uh, uh, battery to the RV. This part is not hard to understand. I'm not gonna belabor this too awful much right here. What gets tricky is when you wanna start adding a second battery or beyond, because now we have to decide, are we going to add uh, a second 12 volt battery, which requires that you wire in parallel format, or are you going to add two, or pardon me, not add, but utilize two six volt batteries instead of one 12 volt battery or two 12 volts in parallel? When you have two six volts, you put them in series so they add up to equal 12 volts. So instead of just explaining all that, let's take a quick second to actually show you how do you wire these things together because that's kind of probably why you're watching this in the first place. Okay, from this point forward, if you don't understand what you're doing, or if you don't follow what I'm saying, stop. Stop, call a professional, or let somebody who does this for a living handle it for you, because it's a very expensive mistake getting this wrong. Okay, what we're looking at here are two 12 volt batteries wired in parallel. So it's not 12 plus 12 equals 24 volts. When you're in parallel, you maintain a 24 volt system. So this line right here represents the trailer. Um, so the trailer's hotline connects to the positive post and it loops to the other positive post. Now, very similarly, the trailer's negative post connects to the final battery and then loops to the first one. Now, what's cool about this is you can basically duplicate this as many times as you need. Like some campers, like Eagles, uh, a lot of your big Jayco's, they can be wired for like four to six batteries. Well, uh, 
you know, this is a very easy thing to just say, okay, just daisy chain the next one onto it. And all you do is just repeat the pattern, positive to positive, negative to negative. The only thing is the first battery in the chain connects to the trailer with the positive line and the last battery in the chain connects to the trailer with the negative line. Again, this is not extremely hard to understand. And the little diagram that I might be popping up here, there uh, from point to point, I'm going to um, like basically leave a link to that so that you could download that to your phone or something like that if you want to. So if you need to have a little pocket reference, I'm going to make that available to you so you don't constantly have to refer back to this video and listen to me talk over and over again because trust me, my wife will agree that, you know, enough is enough every now and then. <laughs> All right, now what we're looking at here is two batteries wired in series, meaning the voltage of each battery is added together. In the case of an RV, you don't want two 12 volt batteries wired in series because then you're pumping 24 volts into your RV. When something's made for 12 and you give it 24, this is not a case where more is better. This is a bad thing. So when you're wiring in series like this, what you'd be looking at is two six volt batteries. So one of the questions is, why two six volts and why not go two 12 volts? Isn't 12 bigger than six for those who aren't aware? The reason that people do this is that six volt batteries have significantly more reserve, meaning more time boondocking between recharges, that you have more power in reserve, bigger batteries in a, in a sense because the cells inside the batteries themselves are much bigger. It will give you probably at least twice the boondock dry camping time, if not more. It's, it's, it's very impressive how much more power six volt batteries have. However, they are, it requires that you buy two of them and they are significantly more expensive per battery than 12 volt batteries. But again, it gives you a, a far greater reserve. Now this, the color coding system I've had going on here so far breaks down a little bit here, but it's really not that complicated. It's actually, this is one of the most simple ways to wire something. So we have the, the trailer comes in to the positive line on battery number one. Now, this is where it freaks people out because you're jumping the negative of battery one to the positive of battery two because we're creating a straight line electrically, basically. And then this goes out to the trailer. So six plus six equals 12 volts to the trailer. That's the difference here. And again, this will cost more, but it'll give you more boondocking time. So do you need to do this? I don't know. Are you planning on boondocking primarily or maybe just occasionally? If it's a maybe just occasionally, then you could probably just go with a pair of 12s wired in parallel as we saw previously, save yourself a chunk of money. And maybe you have a little solar battery tender or something like that now and then. Are you serious? Like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm gonna go camping in the desert and I wanna be able to use my fans and my lights anytime I want, all the time that I want. Well, then you probably want some kind of solar, even portable case and then you're gonna want a pair of six volt batteries to give you that additional reserve time. It doesn't provide a greater surge of power into the RV. It just provides the power the RV is intended to have for a longer period of time. Again, I'm going to see if I can uh, leave a link in the video description for the handy little diagram that I've uh, probably popped up here a couple of times so that you can have a little pocket visual reference right on your phone. And again, I cannot stress enough guys, if you don't understand this, if this has just like, listen, I, 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 I you know, you're not an idiot. Uh, it's, there's a lot of people, this just doesn't sink in. If you don't get it, call a professional, pay somebody a couple bucks one time to wire it up and then take pictures on your camera to see how it's all wired together and then save that picture on your phone, mark it as your favorite so you can check it again next year or anytime you need to swap a battery out for any reason. And because this again is not something you want to screw up and the penalty for failure is almost immediate. If you're lucky, uh, if you wire this incorrectly, an RV might have some kind of override or reverse polarity relay or something to that extent that might help you in case you crisscross applesauce wire one of these things up. But not every RV has that. Um, usually a more expensive RV, one of the reasons it's more expensive is it has more fail-safes and more safeguards against the human factor, the oops factor of this. But your real basic dollar cheaper entry-level trailers probably won't. So um, it's, it's not hard to set up. It's just really important that you get it set up correctly. If you have questions, we're happy to try to answer a couple quick ones, guys. But this is one of those things that if, 
Uh, you can't figure it out simply and easily. Just stop and let someone do it for you because you, you want to measure twice and cut once, as it were. <laughs> so with that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.